Namaste friends. Welcome to Arish Chemistry. So in this today's video, I am going to explain so rules and regulations which is followed in the exam center for the Comet K exam and things which are allowed inside the exam hall and which is not allowed inside the exam hall. Those things we are going to discuss today. So please carefully listen all these things because if you don't follow this, you, you may not allow to write the exam for in the Comet K centers remember that so very very important and if you have visited to my channel for the first time please subscribe to the channel and see the videos of this chemistry videos of this comedy I already have uploaded please go through all those things yes so things which are allowed inside the exam hall I think already you have downloaded your hall ticket which is having two to three pages you take the printout of all the pages remember you keep it with you so First thing which is allowed is printed copy of test admission ticket. They will call it as TAT. Printed copy of test admission ticket compulsory you have to take. Second thing, original ID proof which is mentioned in the application form. So already in the application form you have mentioned which ID proof you have to submit. So among these, voter ID, passport, driving license, driving license so Aadhaar card, PAN card, any of these, whatever you have mentioned in the application form, please Oh, oh, try to carry those things because they may ask that so original ID proof you have to take then recent passport size photograph so two color photograph of recent uh, recent one you have to take so that is very very important and pencil will be allowed for rough work so don't take the pens but pencil is allowed in the uh, exam hall to make a rough work and remember rough sheets they will only provide not necessary to take but pencil is allowed must bring and wear your own face mask throughout the process very very important so without the mask they will never take you into the exam hall so very important uh, wear the mask here so remember and the gloves so very important thing is throughout the exam you have to wear a glow so you have you have to take this gloves so if you don't have please purchase it today only so you have one day time so far this face mask and the glow so use and throw it is very good because whenever you use that you throw it in the dustbin there itself and come so that is very better process only transparent water bottle is allowed transparent water bottle means not necessary to worry whatever the water bottle you have uh, on that remember any labels should not be there transparent it should be and water bottles you have to bring because they will never give you water bottle because of this covid situation then must bring personal hand sanitizer of 50 ml so like this one 50 ml hand sanitizer you can take so 50 ml hand sanitizer is enough so take that and keep it in with you so that is very important these are the things which is allowed in the exam hall finally i will give you a checklist of all these things you don't worry so this is a very important point what you have to follow then i am going to tell you so or things which are not allowed inside the exam hall so that is also very important remember entry prohibited without the print copy of test admission ticket which means if you don't have printed copy of test admission ticket they will never allow so that today only take the print out of this test admission ticket any personal devices like computerized devices bluetooth devices electronic gadgets etc are strictly prohibited Remember one thing, nothing you have to take, calculator also not allowed, but the thing is remember in the Comet K exam, in the computer screen itself, calculator will be given. So you can use that simple calculator and do the calculations. Any textual material printed or written, bits of paper, anything it is not allowed. For rough work, remember, paper they will only provide. So they will only provide. Mobile phones are strictly prohibited. It is not allowed, but very, very important point I am going to tell you now. Listen carefully. So you can see here, mobile phone is allowed only till the entry gate to show the Aragya Setu dashboard. Very, very important. Listen that. So in your mobile phone, you should have mobile phone and that mobile phone should have Aragya Setu app and that should be shown in the entrance gate. So, it is very, very compulsory in the Comet K exam due to this Corona pandemic. So, then what you can do? What will happen if you don't have mobile phone? Remember, mobile phone is allowed only till that gate, remember, till that gate or some more entry point where you can keep your luggage. So, till then it is allowed. 
in exam hall it is not allowed then the question is sir if i don't have this particular uh, smartphone then what will happen so my suggestion is listen carefully my suggestion is suggestion is if you have this mobile phone or if you don't have mobile phone with the arogya setu app my suggestion is remember you take this admission ticket in your admission ticket when you download and when you uh, take the print out you can see self declaration in the second or third page right so this self declaration form what it will tell you are concerned about the your health we are concerned about your healthy safety and hygiene in the interest of your well being and that of everyone at the venue you are requested to declare if you have any of the following symptoms so like that it is there so if it is not having any symptoms then don't tick any of this so then you have to sign i am I, it is certifying that i have not tested positive for the corona virus and identified as potential carrier of the covid 19 virus so then what you have to do candidate's name you write candidate stat number that is admission number admission ticket number you write date of the exam you write exam center name you write and signature of the candidate you have to sign so if you don't have nothing then also your arogya setu app can show risk factor the reason for that is definitely with the mobile if you are uh, uh, moving in the uh, containment zones or you can say if you just know you traveled with any of the uh, covid 19 carrier in in the bus without knowing in the bus so because of all these reason remember it may show you as positive or you can say risk factor red it will show you because of that reason my suggestion is don't go with the mobile with the arogya setu app you just you fill this self declaration in your hall ticket printed form so in the hall ticket second or third page it will be given so fill all these things so don't tick any of this fever cough cold and running nose breathing problem nothing so if you don't have nothing if you don't have anything then definitely don't mark all this thing and you write everything and you sign take this self declaration form to the exam hall that is better compare to mobiles mobiles are not allowed and not necessary also but this is very very important self declaration form if you have mobile with the arogya setu app also so uh, for your safety you fill this form and go to exam center so that is very very important instruction i wanted to tell you these are the things not allowed inside the exam hall now you will see uh, instructions for the candidates on covid 19 so which is given on the uh, comed ke uh, this website so i will tell you you may not read this particular uh, because of the very small letters i will tell you social distancing should be maintained maintained remember 1 uh, meter social distancing should be maintained very very important then the candidates should be entered inside the exam hall only after checking your temperature so they will check the temperature and they will allow you to write the exam remember then very important in this case uh, all these things you have to carry mask hand glove sanitizing bottle all these things you have to carry with you they will never provide and remember at the uh, entry or in the in case of the uh, exam venue whenever you mention whenever you enter into the exam hall remember they will sms to the uh, registered mobile number remember what time you have to or come to the exam hall they will mention that in the uh, message so you have to check your sms in the number which you have registered in the application form while uh, applicate applica they are giving application for this covid this uh, uh, comed ke exam that registered mobile number they will send the sms message in that your timing will be mentioned because remember to avoid the rush during the entry of the candidates into the exam hall they will give you particular time to the that particular uh, they will send you as a batch so in the one particular batch they will mention one particular time for that reason remember please see that timings and if you are not received any message also don't worry so one hour before you go to the exam hall it is better one hour before you go to the exam hall that is very good attitude remember that then arogya setu app as i told arogya setu app is needed if it is not there self declaration is enough 
so they will check the temperature and they will enter into the exam hall and this passport size photo original id card admission ticket everything they have they will check it and please stand 6 feet away from each other while entering into the uh, exam hall remember at registration desk candidates will be directed to sanitize their hands before going to touch the keyboards of the computers remember so all these things will be there in the exam hall don't worry they will take all the measurements like uh, measures like remember a sanitization of the exam hall, computer screen, everything they will do because they think about your safety also. Don't worry about all those. Andre. Don't keep all those things your mind in your mind and don't be panic about all those things. Right? So, then finally I am going to tell you. So, what all the things? See, I will not read all those things. I will tell you important points. Right? So, first thing what they will do is crowd management and candidates entry at the exam center. For that, what they have done? They will send you, see, reporting time sent to candidates via SMS a uh, day prior to the exam. They will send the message. Security guard outside the gate wears a mask, gloves and face shield at all times. Security guard ensure that all candidates follow the below guidelines during the entry. See, ensure staggered entry is followed as per the time slots of 15 minutes each. See, they will only give the timing. At that time, you have to be there. So, candidates stand in queue in front of, on the floor marks outside the gate. So, the marking will be there. You have to stand there. Candidates wear mask and maintain a safe distance. Candidates do not overcrowd outside the gate. Candidates keep the documents ready for the verification. So, all those documents, you have to keep it in your hand. And please tell your parents also, remember, after dropping you to the exam center, they are requested not to crowd at the exam gate. So, tell them not to crowd out the exam, at the exam gate and they will, uh, if they want to wait, they will wait, you, wait for you till the exam uh, by standing away from the exam hall. Sanitization of candidates' hands after entering when, the, when, you will, when you will be there. But you have to bring your own sanitizer bottle, that is better. So remember, security guard, what they will do? Candidates' body temperature, they will check with the thermogun. Candidate status in the Argus Setu app, they will uh, check. So, otherwise, whatever the uh, uh, declaration form which is given in the TAT, at least that you have to fill, they will check that. Exam related documents, test admission ticket, original ID proof, passport size photograph, everything they will check and they will make you enter into the exam hall. So, very important if the body temperature is above 99.14 degree Fahrenheit, they will not enter into the exam hall. Remember, they will not allow you to write the exam. Symptoms of COVID-19 if you have, so they will not enter into the exam hall. Status showing high medium risk in the Aragya Setu are very, very important. Because of that reason, I told if you have this Aragya Setu app also, what you have to do? You take that self-declaration form which is given in the test admission ticket and fill that form that is better than this Aragya Setu app. Because this Aragya Setu app may show you medium risk if you travel in that particular area containment zone. Remember that point. Then, so baggage area management. So in case of the baggage area management, what happens is if you go with the bags, Remember, candidates sanitize their hands after entering the exam hall, entering the gate. Limited number of candidates allow in the baggage area at a given time. Mobile phones to be kept inside the bags and deposited at the baggage area. Candidates place all the prohibited items in the bag except, remember, mask you can take, gloves, pencil, personal hand sanitizer bottle of 50 ml, personal transport water, transparent water bottle, exam related documents like TAT, original ID proof, passport side photograph. Except this, remember, they will not allow you to take anything. Remember that. And there is no such uh, uh, this uh, dress code also mentioned. You can go with your college uniform or you can go with the normal dress, remember. Document verification will be done and barcode scan will be there in the uh, that particular volunteers will check the test admission ticket and barcode scanning will be there, everything it will be there. And a lab number will be displayed on the system and in front of the candidates. So candidates are guided to appropriate labs by the volunteer. They will, they will, uh, there will be exam invigilator. They will guide you which system you have to uh, take and which computer you have to operate. Pre-exam process. See, candidates documents checked at the lab entrance. After verification, candidates sanitize their hands. Uh, at the registration desk, candidates stand straight and remove the mask. Only you have to remove the mask only at the time of registration desk. They will ask you to remove the mask. The reason for that is they will capture a clear photograph of the candidate. So they will also capture the photograph of the candidate. Because of that reason, you have to remove the mask only at this point. Remember that. And safety measures are taken by invigilator for to taking a candidate signature on the TAT. So on the uh, test admission ticket, so uh, 
the individual letter signature will be there and they will take all those safety measures so don't worry about that see candidates sanitize their hands before and after putting the signature on the tat so everything in the evaluation in this particular any sheets if you want to give the sign also they will take all the safety measures don't worry about all those things then allocation of candidates in the exam hall so what they will do is candidates are allocated seat with the social distancing norms so according to social distancing norms your computer will be kept sanitization of the exam labs like chairs floors keyboards mouse system desk will be done before and after each shift very very important definitely they will do all those things so not necessary to worry about all those things individual letters wear mask and follow social distancing norms they sanitize their hands before and afterwards in case of disruption remember you have to immediately tell to the individual letter so if if there is any shutdown or if there is any uh, this buffering in all these cases you have to ensure uh, you have to tell that to the examination examination who will be there so remember they will ensure you that they will give you a separate monitor and the moment is handled row wise and uh, whatever the problem it is happened they will solve that particular problem they will resolve there itself don't worry about that and rough sheets are dropped in the separate pro drop box by the candidates remember rough sheets they will only give and you have to drop that after doing all the rough sheets while before uh, after finishing the exam while coming back to the uh, out of the exam hall remember coming out of the exam hall you have to keep that in the separate box <laughs> Volunteers present along the exit path to ensure proper movement of the candidates. Candidates follow social distancing norms. All invigilators carry used mask and gloves to their homes and dispose them there. See why? Why they have given is invigilators? They will never dispose or uh, throw that mask in the exam center. That you have to be uh, that that they are very very careful about that. Sanitization process will be there, like this: entrance gate, reception, visitor lobby, lift. Everything will be sanitized. Remember, sanitizer bottle at the venue are refilled at regular interval. Trash bins are cleaned before and after each shift. Remember, dust bins will be cleaned uh, before and after each shift. Very, very important. And very important thing is that if there is a lift in the exam hall, if there is a lift in the exam hall, my suggestion is don't use the lift. So use the staircase and go to the exam hall. Lifts are used only if absolutely required. Wherever possible, staircase are used. Remember, only two persons are allowed in the small lift and four percent are largest lift. So don't go in the lift. Sanitized bottle is kept in the lift so that hands can be sanitized after touching the buttons. So that is also very important. And unnecessarily, you you don't touch any of the surfaces. Remember, that is my suggestion. D don't touch any of the surfaces. Lift usage instructions are posted both outside and inside the lift. It will be given. Remember that point. Then, finally, for the staffs also, they have safety measures and not necessary to worry. And if the any association body temperature is more than ninety nine point one four degree Fahrenheit, andre. So if the invigilator or any of the staff member who is involving in the exam duty, if they are uh, shown shown with this temperature, they will not allow in the exam hall. All these things they have to. Oh, they will take the measures. Remember, uh, no risk will be there. So write the exam. Don't worry about all those things. And uh, all the best for your exam. Finally, I will tell you the checkpoints. See your belongings. Remember what all the things you have to break: hall ticket, self declaration form, original ID proof. So if you have Argus Seto app also, take this self declaration form, original ID proof. Two recent passport size photos, mask, sanitizer, and gloves. You have to take pencil for rough work, transparent water bottle. So these are the things you have to take. Take the screenshot and be ready with all these things today evening itself. Remember today evening itself. Tomorrow it will be hurry hurry. So don't worry about that. Don't take the tension. They provide. Remember sheet for rough work. They will provide calculator is provided in the computer screen. So not necessary to take the calculator and it is not allowed also. in case of system failure or shutdown contact the invigilator immediately and resolve the problem they will resolve the problem don't worry about that and very important morning session is from 9 to 12 remember after 8:45 you are not allowed to enter into the exam hall your restriction is Uh, your entry is restricted so whatever the reason you give sir uh, i i am late with the bus so punct gaadi is punctured all these things they will never listen hence i will tell you remember my dear students go before 1 hour early 
definitely they will message to your registered mobile number you can go to that particular time but it's better to go if there is no message if you are received also it's better to go to one hour early after 8 45 they restrict it and the entry after afternoon session 2 30 to 5 30 it is there after 2 15 onwards you are not allowed inside the exam hall so remember these are the things i wanted to tell Please listen all these things carefully and those who want, those who are writing Comet K exam, please pass it to all those students because what happens is after reading everything, after preparing everything, if you are not followed any of these rules, you may not allow you to write the exam. So, it should not happen, remember my dear students. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.